This is a sample video from a series, details of which are available on the website. This video sets out to explain what optical fibres are, how they work and what they can be used for. Commercial optical fibres use high quality glass, but for this demonstration we'll simply use glass from a broken bottle. The sliver of glass has to be heated strongly so that it becomes so soft that it can be stretched out into a fibre. As we heat it, we have to be careful that the thermal shock doesn't just splinter the glass, so to begin with the heating is gentle. As the glass becomes hot, the flame changes colour. This is probably due to the sodium in the glass. It reaches the point so that it bends just under its own weight. If we grip the sliver of glass at both ends, then we should be able to pull it out into a fibre. This has to be done very quickly because the fine fibre cools very rapidly. You can see that the fibre which is formed is very flexible. That's because it's very thin and also the surface is very clean and very smooth. It has no cracks or scratches to cause breakage. If we take that fibre and bend it round so that one end is pointing towards the camera, as shown by the arrow, and then we shine a laser pen into the other end, we should be able to see, once we get it lined up, the light coming towards the camera. In order to pass from one end to the other, the light undergoes multiple reflections inside the fibre. Each reflection does of course obey the laws of reflection, and each one is total internal reflection, occurring at the interface between a dense and a less dense medium, in this example between glass and air. The angle of incidence of the light must be less than the critical angle. A fine fibre helps to ensure that this is so. As the light enters and leaves the fibre, there is bound to be some refraction. Almost all commercial fibres are made from more than one layer of material. The outer layer is of a glass, or sometimes a plastic, which is of a lower refractive index than the inner core. Total internal reflection still takes place along the inner core, but the outer layer protects against scratching. A scratch at the surface would allow the light to escape. In some commercial fibres, the outer layer and the inner core are fused together so that there's a gradual change in the refractive index. This causes a gradual change in the path due to refraction rather than a sharp reflection. The key means of transmitting telephone calls, internet information and video streaming is by optical fibre. A transducer such as a light emitting diode can be used to change electrical pulses into light pulses. These digital signals in binary code can then be transmitted for very long distances through the optical fibres. At the receiving end, another transducer will convert the pulses of light back into electrical signals where they can be decoded. Optical fibres are much cheaper and lighter than metal cables. The signals that transmit along them are subject to far less interference, so the final reception is clear. Bundles of optical fibres can be used to inspect very inaccessible places, as with this endoscope here. The cables can be slipped down the throat of the patient, one to carry the light to the subject, and one to carry the images back to be viewed directly by the operator or by video camera. The instrument also has tubes to carry water down to wash and then be sucked back, 
and instruments can be passed down so that operations can be done remotely. Although the process may be uncomfortable, it is certainly not as painful or as invasive as the only other options. A familiar application will be decorative lighting, where one lamp, often with coloured filters, is used to create a whole display. Instrument panels can be illuminated by a few lamps with optical fibres transmitting the light to the instruments themselves. The lamps can be conveniently placed for servicing and the heating effect within the instruments is reduced. However, not all manufacturers will use this system. There are three video series available. Complete details with further examples are on the website. Thank you for watching. Thank you.